Okay, we're going to do lesson 2-2, two 2, 9 as a factor. So we're basically going to be multiplying numbers times 9. Okay, so when you are looking at a multiplication problem, the two numbers that you're multiplying are called factors. And then the answer is a product. So in the multiplication problem, what are the two factors? Okay, 9 is a factor. 3 is a factor, and what is the product? 9 times 3 equals 27. Which number is the product? It should be 27, okay? It's a factor times a factor equals a product. Up in the top right here, I want you to write factor times factor equals product. Factor times a factor equals a product. So the two numbers that you multiply are the factors, and the answer is the product. So when we multiply by nines, there's a trick for the nines. It makes it pretty easy for us, okay? We're gonna, we're, I'm going to help you write the answers in here, and then we're going to look at the trick to it, okay? So when we have, we have nine all the way down, right? One of the factors is nine. The other one plays the important part, okay? So one group of nine is nine. Okay, if we have two times nine... The answer, the first, the first number is always one less than this. So two times nine, if it's we're multiplying two times nine, we know our first number is a one. And then when we add these two numbers together, they're always going to equal nine. So one plus eight is nine. If we're multiplying by three, the first number we're gonna write is a two, one less than that, okay? And two plus what is nine? Two plus seven is nine. If we're multiplying by four, we're gonna write a three, because we're doing one less than that. Three plus what is nine? Three plus six is nine. If we're multiplying nine times five, it's gonna start with a four. Four plus what is nine? Five. If we're multiplying by six, it's going to be a what? Five, it's gonna be one less than that. Five plus what is nine? Four, okay? If we're multiplying by seven, it's going to be a six. Six plus what is nine? Three. If we're multiplying by eight, what's the first number you're gonna write? It should be a seven, one less than eight. Seven plus two is nine. And if you're multiplying nine times nine, what's the first number you're gonna write? Instead of a nine, it's going to be an eight and eight plus one, okay? So now look at these though. You have nine, you have 18, and you have 81. You have 27, and you have 72. You have 36 and 63, 45 and 54, okay? So there's only so many ways that you can make nine. And if one of the numbers is a one, the other number has to be an eight. If one of the numbers is a two, the other number has to be a seven. If it's a three, it has to be a six. So these are kind of flip-flop numbers because when you add them together, they have to equal nine. So you have basically one plus eight, two plus seven, three plus six, four plus five, five plus four, six plus three, which is the same as three plus six, four plus five is the same as five plus four. So they, they have to go these are basically the only combination of numbers that you can use, okay? So as the multiples become greater in the tens digit, that's this one, okay? As these become bigger, these become smaller, okay? So as the multiples become greater, the 10 digit increases by one in each row, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then as the they become bigger, the number in the ones place decreases by one, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So th this number, the tens goes up and the ones goes down. Okay, the sum of the digits in the product of the nines is always nine, right? One plus eight, two plus seven, three plus six, four plus five, five plus four, six plus three, seven plus two, eight plus one. Okay, the tens digits, that's this first number, right? The first number that we wrote of any multiple of nine is one less than the factor you're multiplying it by. Let's look at this. If we're multiplying it by two, the tens digit is one. If we're multiplying it by six, 
the tens digit is five. If we're multiplying by eight, it's seven. So the number in the tens digit is one less than their factor we're multiplying by nine. So for six times nine, the tens digit of the multiple must be what? So the nine, we got our nine. So we're multiplying it by six. So what must be the first number in the tens digit be if we're multiplying by six? It should be one less than that. So write that right here and then figure out what this one should be because the two numbers together should equal nine. So if we're multiplying by six, our first number should be five and five plus four is nine. Okay, the product of five times nine is, okay, we got our nine but we're multiplying by five. So instead of a five, we're going to write a, should be one less than five, a four, and four plus what equals nine? Five. The two digits in the product are, the two digits in this product are four and five, and the sum of those, if we add four and five together, is nine. All right, John wants to show six times nine using groups of stars. Each group will have nine stars. Draw a picture to show these groups of stars. How many stars will you draw to show the multiple of nine? All right, so we wanna basically know six times nine, and so we're gonna draw six groups with nine in each, each one, right? So on your back of your paper, draw six groups. Right? And how many stars will we draw? Well, we have to put nine in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So pause it and put nine stars in each group of six. Okay? Pause it and then come back. So you could have actually drawn stars or you could have just written a nine inside each one. That would work too. Okay, so they wanna know how many stars will you have to draw for six groups of nine. All right, well, let's just use our trick. I mean, of course we could count nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, but we're going to make a mistake, okay? So if we're multiplying by six, What's the first digit that you need to write and then these two numbers should equal nine. So pause it, figure it out, and then come back. Okay, one less than six is five and five plus four is nine. So six times nine equals 54. All right, great job.